Futures trading involves substantial risk of loss and may not be suitable for all investors. Good morning. It's Thursday, April 11th, about 6 a.m. Central Time. All right, the precious metals are mixed after yesterday's volatile session. It was the impact of the hotter inflation data continued to send shockwaves through the markets as traders pared back the number of Fed interest rate cuts and bond and currency traders all repositioned as well the most likely scenario is going to be one cut in September and also one cut in December if you go to the CME's Fed watch tool you can see that now it's only about a 16% chance that the Fed will make that interest rate cut in June so the dollar index breached through that line in the sand that I had at the 105 level it is now trading at the highest level since November 2023 the ECB will also make an interest rate here decision but they're also going to push back here on that first interest rate cut the likely scenario was that they would make their first cut in June it was hundred percent priced in now that's only about an 80% chance on the swaps so we're gonna want to continue to digest the data we'll also see numerous Fed officials come out and speak today you'll have John Williams Thomas Barkin Susan Collins and Raphael Bostic they all will most likely reaffirm that scenario that inflation is just running too hot here at the moment we'll have producer price index and also some job Jobs data on the docket now the interesting thing about the CPI data was if you took out the rise in in insurance costs in California and also Florida that number would have came in lower than expected so you could see that that number is being jockeyed around by different insurance companies here at the moment also electricity prices heavily weighted as well now getting into the precious metals gold futures have made new all-time highs for eight straight sessions so the rising treasury yields the rising dollar index have played little impact but I do expect to see some kind of sell-off here in the metals maybe just a re pricing traders are slightly concerned about that higher dollar index and also the rollover in US equities if you look at US equities they really look like they're hanging on a cliff here at the moment I outlined two levels for you yesterday both of those were hit on the top side and the downside and it looks like a likely scenario where we do test that 50-day moving average on the S&P somewhere around this pocket support of 5155 up to 5170 and I think your likely resistance target is probably Probably already been breached at 5209 is going to be the resistance point here on the day unless bar in mind that some kind of crash on this PPI data comes out or the jobs number comes in at a serious miss but it's an unlikely scenario right now now looking at some key levels of support in the gold market I think we're comfortable trading right around 2355 until we get more data here or 2350 most likely here we've seen a dip to 2343 we've seen a rise to 2364 and it seems to gravitate around 2350 at the moment your critical level of support below that's going to be 23 305 and then below that 2255 and 2170 my line in the sand so there's four levels there if you're looking at adding on declines but again have your own risk management strategy in place consider protective puts consider selling covered calls on that market as well the silver market hovering around 2808 really coming back after a big sell-off here yesterday it just shows you that people are really after that particular metal as reflected in the gold silver ratio which is dropped down to about 83 to 1 remember it was anchored between 92 and 80 about five or six on the downside in that breach through there tells you that silver is starting to come alive now crude oil futures off about 50 cents here today we will have a USDA report and some of the other markets are just mixed at the moment with US equities sliding I do expect to see a little less volume here today as we gear off for the masters so I'm reflecting the hat here at the moment and we'll probably see a lot of people turning out of some of the financial commentary and into that so if you got any questions give me a call I'd love to talk to you 312-858-7303 remember futures option trading involves risk loss may not be suitable to all investors good luck good trading